everybody welcome to another video so i am at disneyland for my graduation trip and um i tried this before for a video where um i eat as much food as i can on one day in disneyland obviously i didn't post it but i think i think we're gonna do better this time so i'm gonna feel more comfortable posting it is 7 30 ish i'm already pretty hungry i got a full list of foods uh, to go through. At the end, I'm going to try and calculate all the calories that I ate so I can feel really great about myself. But yeah, let's let's get on to it. Uh, we're going to walk over to the park. Hey guys, it's Blue Liner's voice back again for another voiceover. This time it's going to be the whole video, so buckle in for that. Starting off today in California Adventure with a nice little cinnamon roll um, from that little bakery thing. I don't know what it's called, but that's what we had can't uh, use forks properly, so I have to eat it like a caveman, which, as every American knows, means it's good food. It didn't take very long to eat it, kind of crushed it. Um, I was a little worried about eating before the ride we're gonna go on, but there we go, first food of the day. That ride, of course, being the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Look at that giant tower. Uh, I had an amazing time and wasn't scared at all, and I didn't throw up, so this was a win of a ride for me. After my stomach and my fear had subsided, I grabbed another snack, a little cream puff right outside the ride. You can tell it catches me off guard a little bit here, because it's like a tart inside and I was expecting straight sweet. I'm very confused about it, and obviously this lady is too. As I am finishing scarfing this down, you can notice Wasp is patrolling us down below, making sure, making good content here. And I don't like being watched, so I am very uncomfortable. Poof, we have teleported over from Avengers Campus to Pixar Pier. Now I'm down on a nice little churro here. The churros are one of the best parts of Disneyland. And then we're gonna hit us with a dope transition and a whack, and what the fuck is this? This is not me finishing a churro. All right, well that's okay. We're eating a sundae. I promise I finished the churro. Trust me, I would not lie to you about eating a goddamn churro. But yeah, we're eating what was probably my biggest mistake of the day, and that was this ice cream sundae, which was rich as hell. And then my father makes a hilarious child services joke. Five minutes later, and I regret every single ounce of that sundae that I ate. It was way too much, and I honestly did feel like throwing up, but thank God I didn't. Fortunately, I was able to burn the food off uh, with my elite performance in Midway Mania. Absolutely goaded. Once I had finished kicking ass on Midway Mania, we got this cool little cookie here from the stand right outside the Incredicoaster. And I know you guys might be thinking, hey, that's a shiny cookie, that's pretty cool. And I would agree, it is pretty incredible. And you could tell that cookie weighed me down a bit. Gained about seven tons? Is that how the math works? Either way, I'm finishing this cookie with this hilarious joke. Um, and it in fact, turned my tongue blue. You wanna see? There you go. Boop. Now, because we refused to stay in one place, we were over at Cars Land, where I'm getting probably the biggest cop out of a food that I had this entire time, that was a pineapple spear, which was pretty much to boost my numbers, but my god, was it sour. Uh, I pounded it pretty fast, and yeah, there's not really much to this, it's a pineapple spear. Don't mind me just blowing on some corn here, surely this will cool it down enough for me to eat it. Right? Nope, just one more, one more, there you go. And totally fine, right? Yeah, you could tell. Nope, yeah, that did absolutely nothing, but that's okay. The corn is pretty good. Not a lot of butter on that. Uh, enthusiastic thumbs up for the corn. And now we get a nice scenic bite. Finishing off this corn, it had about half of it stuck in my teeth, which was just amazing. It is probably one of my least favorite things in the world. Um, I'm not gonna lie. That, like anything getting stuck in my teeth, but it was still delicious. And I got to enjoy some amazing scenery while doing it. Hey look, some more hot food. Let me just fan it a little bit. Surely that will make a difference. Uh, it does not. Spoiler alert. But, you know, still. And we gotta take off these extra carbs, you know. Don't wanna get, don't wanna get too big. Watching my weight. Um, but this is the shawarma. It was pretty good, actually. This is like a, a new, well, it's a newish thing, but it's, it's pretty good. It was spicy, though. Like, I wasn't expecting that, like, at all. And it wasn't the one I, I wanted exactly, because I wanted the falafel one. But it was still pretty good, because I'd had the falafel one the other day. I enjoyed this one. Um, jokes aside, this was actually a, probably one of the favorite, my favorite things that I've eaten today. But I ate so many things before that I felt like I wanted to die. Just look at that. Look at the face of despair. Oh, I'm so chewy. 
So while I was waiting for my next meal, I decided to watch a little bit of this little fight show they have uh, at the Avengers campus. It's pretty fun. It did make me a little bit emotional though, because they had Black Panther in it, and the I had just seen like the trailers for the new Black Panther movie, so it's getting a little sad. But yeah, here's this Let's completely go. not Friday. staged fight. Then we grabbed another bite to eat from the Avengers campus. This is the giant uh, chicken sandwich that they have at the Pimm's place, and I, you could tell I had to record this myself. So it was very well done, super smooth, great job, Eddie. Doing great, buddy. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here, but it seems very disgusted by it. Maybe I'm disgusted by how big that chicken makes my hands look, because my god, <laughs> do my hands look absolutely giant holding that thing. Just ignore the stuff that I'm covering with my hand. And because my father loves me so much and wanted me su to succeed in this challenge, he got me some caramel corn. It was more like a mix between caramel corn and kettle corn, but that's okay. Anyways, so I also had this right after I had the chicken sandwich. Um, so that was fun, and I got a piece of popcorn stuck in my shirt. Not feeling my nipple, I promise. But yeah, this was probably some of the worst popcorn I've ever had. This tasted like it was a week old. But you gotta make sure you eat all of it. That's the point of the challenge, guys. Even if it causes me extreme misery. Before I got another food, we did end up going on cars, though, and gave you whatever this weird picture is. And no, I am not actually yelling screamo in my mother's ear. Me and my father decided we were trying to prank her and it clearly went horribly. So I had to see it and you do too. Now by this point, we were about to head back over to Disneyland. You could tell here the lady who's working this stand telling me to smile because she thought my dad was taking a picture of me. But poof, there we are in Disneyland. Look at all the shiny, pretty balloons. And then there's this asshole, wearing his sunglasses like he thinks he's cool. He's pretzel like a douchebag. Oh, that's boring. That's a tree. There you have it, a sneak peek at the creative process behind our shots. Uh, before I finally just started to eat. But anyways, I hadn't had these in a while. The beignets and the mint julep are really good. The, the beignets were a nice little kind of stat, or Jesus Christ, stat filler. Good lord, ignore me. Because they're nice and light, um, but they still taste really good. Unfortunately, uh, I made it look like I'm a coke addict because I got powdered sugar all over my pants and all over the table, but that's okay. And here was me being peer pressured into drinking my mint julep with the beignets still in my mouth. Gross. And if things were going bad enough for your eardrums, now you gotta listen to some jazz while you hear me talk. It's gonna say a prayer real quick for your eardrums. Uh, but here's me finishing off the last of the beignets. There were six of them, and I slammed them. But now you get to listen to just jazz. So there you go. You're Outside of the chicken sandwich, probably, I think this was the thing that I was most looking forward to to eat. Um, it doesn't look super appetizing like that because it's kind of supposed to look like, you know, like rations, kind of, you know, Star Wars stuff. Um, but anyways, yeah, it was really good. It's like this, I don't know exactly what kind of beef or what, what it's specifically classified as, but it's pretty much that and noodles. Um, but it was really good, but it was also a pain in the ass to eat because I was so full and it was so much. I was taken aback by something there. I'm not sure what. And I know that doesn't look completely like done, but that like that's a lot of like fat from the beef and like gristle, so don't worry guys. I wouldn't cheat you in this video. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, peek into it, the tradition we have every time we go to Disneyland or Disney World, we get a Mickey bar. So my dad had one behind the camera, so did I. And the marching band's playing and I'm absolutely fine to it. But yeah, no more marching bands, now just eating a Mickey bar. I'm actually, like, usually it melts all over me, but it didn't, so yay. And now I finally get to show you guys my favorite picture from the whole trip. Yes, I put my shoes on my hands. I was a little worried they'd fly off because I put them on, like, during the ride, but that's okay. Also, shout out to the kid in the back for posing for the picture. Big ups that guy. Somehow this sunglass wearing douchebag showed up back in this video to eat some donut holes that are pretty much just like churro balls. Um, 
On that bite, I thought they were good. Later, I would discover they are not that good. Uh, very dry. I don't know why. They were really good last time, but as you can see, much like my dog, there are no more balls left. Ha! Huh? Right? That's a good joke, guys. It's okay, guys. We can pretend like that joke was never made. Anyways, now I'm drinking some blue bantha milk. So this is like, it's like this like weird like kind of thick blue milk. Um, and it makes you feel happy inside, as you can see. No, I'm kidding. It's just like, it's like a little savory. Oh my god, look at that. Absolutely gigantic shots. That you're wondering why I am showing you these, because these are drinks, not food. But I decided to count them because they were very filling. And this one was technically a food because they were solid objects that you had to eat in there. So, there you go. But anyways, popping these uh, little blueberry balls was super fun. And they tasted very good. Um, but yeah, these were some fun drinks. And now it looks like an alien's flipping you off. So there's that. And this was my favorite part of the drink. Because uh, I got all the little things in my mouth. And just, it was like popping them. And it was like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But it just was so satisfying. Let's count how many pepper packets I will put on this bowl of clam chowder. Oh my god, I got a hiccup. Alright, we got one. It probably needs a little bit more. I feel like that's a reasonable, reasonable to ask for a bit more. So now we're going to add a second one. Alright, nice. Most people would probably stop here, but I feel like it's, it's still in the realm of possibility to add like maybe one or two more. So we're going to go on and just pop open a third one. These, by the way, these are the packets that you're supposed to like, be able to like snap, but they don't like, I think it's like too humid. So like, anyways, whatever, that's four. It's just like, I had to tear each one of them. And it was just like, all right, now, now we're getting excessive, but now it's at five. Um, and it was a pain in the ass to get the pepper out of them, by the way. Oh, and here's six, if you, in case you didn't think I was enough of a psychopath, uh, you can hear me look, addressing my mother's disapproving looks, which I, no doubt you all are sharing at the screen. And there's seven. Got to make sure we get all of the pepper on there, you know. We don't have enough pepper as it is. Oh, and seven. Seven is the final total. I might not have even counted that right. I might have, you know, made myself team too sane. But that's okay, because this was super good. I love clam chowder. Even if on, even if it's in a nice hot summer's night, still is very good. Only problem is uh, it's 12 bucks, and that is not a lot of clam chowder in that. It's mostly just bread and I was not gonna fill up on carbs like I said watching the weight guys come on this is important and never mind anyways it wouldn't be a Disney trip without a nice Dole Whip that I can't even eat properly because I am a toddler anyways whatever this place is really cool I like it because they have the these egg rolls now rather than just selling Dole Whip but the problem is they don't have the savory egg rolls which is the ones I really wanted so I had to get the sweet ones, which were good, because the banana in the middle was like not very ripe, so it added a nice bit of savoriness. But the problem is that I just had so much sweet food that like sugar was like making me just ill. But that was nice with these two, is that they were both very tart, so they didn't really make me feel that disgusting, as you can tell by that noise. Oh god, I am just an interesting creature, aren't I? But there we go, all done with those two. Gotta make sure the fingers are clean though. That's super important. Even the one that you didn't eat with, gotta make sure that's clean. And the one you did eat with, gotta double check, you know? It is time to break out the tissues. It is my final food of the day. A nice little marshmallow stick to finish this off. Yes, I know you're all probably rejoicing not having to hear my terrible voiceovers anymore. But you know what? This was the best I could do. I hope you guys enjoyed. And here's my father to send it off. Thank you and good night from Uncle Walt's Bucket of Fun. <laughs> All right. So before I go, I want to give you guys a quick rundown of what I ate during the day. And what kind of that meant is in terms of calories and such. So, quick rundown. So we got a cinnamon roll, a cream puff, a churro, the ice cream sundae, the cookie the pineapple spear, the corn on the cob, uh, chicken shawarma, the chicken sandwich, the caramel corn, the pretzel, the beignets, the beef pasta, the Mickey bar, the churro balls, uh, the blue bantha milk, the java juice, the clam chowder, the Dole Whip float, the sweet lumpia, and the marshmallow kebab. So that in total is 20 items throughout the So I did the math 
and that is about 6,377 calories. Now, in a normal day, I looked it up. I'm supposed to like, you know, put on my body weight, uh, my height, everything, stuff like that. And I'm supposed to have about 2,000, uh, middle 2,000s calories a day. So I had about three times as many calories as I'm supposed to have in one day. And it did not make me feel good. I felt very full. I literally didn't eat for like almost, not a full 24 hours, probably like 20-ish hours until the next day because I was just so full and looking at food made me want to throw up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe because this was very physically tolling on my body. I don't know if that's even the right way to say it, but yeah, it was, it was not um, good for me but I did it anyways for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Peace.